Hey Craftaholics, I'm Megan Ryan and welcome back to Making the Cut. Today we are going to etch some glass. So in order to do that you need glass, you need armor etch, your cut file, and a weeding tool to weed that out. You'll need some transfer tape and an old paintbrush. So first, let me show you how I made the cut. So we're gonna start in Design Space. And I'm just gonna to go to Text, and I'm gonna put in my monogram. So I'm gonna click on here and put my initials. Let me actually, okay, M R E for Megan Elizabeth Ryan. Your last name always goes at the end. And I want to find a real pretty script cursive font here. So I'm just going to go through. And we'll try a couple of these out and see which one I like the best. This one's nice. It's a little too slanty for me. Let me check for another one. I keep scrolling down here. When you have Cricut access, you get access to all of these awesome fonts with no extra payments. quite like that one. Let me try something else. You can also do design space on your phone, um, but it's a little harder to find the fonts with that. Still don't like that one. Um, so I like doing it on the desktop version because I can see the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. It gives you a little sampling of all the letters. Ooh, okay, so this is what I'm gonna go with. So I'm gonna go ahead and ungroup, and that's gonna allow me to take this middle letter and make it bigger. So I'm gonna line this up here. That's good, move this one over a little bit. And I want them where they're touching just a smidge because I'm going to weld these together. Yeah. All right. So now I'm going to highlight all of this. Let me do that a little bit more. Okay. Now I'm going to highlight all of it. And I'm going to come over here to weld. So that makes it one cut. All those little pieces will now be connected. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a shape because I'm making a stencil here. So just a simple do the circle. Make it a little bit bigger. And I'm just going to stick this guy right in the center. He's behind it, but that's okay. I'm going to select all of that and go down to Weld, I'm sorry, slice. Okay, and so now you can see how it cut that out. So when I drag it over here, there he goes. Now my file's cut. I can just delete this part. This is all I need. So now I am ready to make it. I'm going to save this one first. And we're going to call it monogram stencil. So now it's saved, I don't have to make this file again. If I want to repeat my monogram on other things, I can just use the same one. So I'm gonna make it. I don't need to mirror this time. I'm doing my 12 by 12 mat. Everything's good there, so I can continue. I'm going to do this on the premium vinyl again. Anytime we're doing a stencil, you want that permanent vinyl. I've got my fine point blade loaded and I'm ready to go. Okay, so now that I have 
my cut file printed, cut. I'm going to take a piece of transfer tape and transfer that onto the transfer tape. So I'm just going to peel a corner of this off and we're just going to lay it right on top of my cut file. And I'm actually going to do it a reverse way. So I'm going to place my cut file on that because this is not sticky. It's a lot easier for me to control this than the sticky transfer tape. So I'm just going to do it a little bit at a time. And we're going to just roll it down onto that. And because it's all one solid piece, for the most part, there's, I think there's a second cut in there. It should be very easy for me to just peel it off. So let's see if it does what it's supposed to do here. Right, this little piece doesn't want to come off just yet, so I'm going to just use my thumb, flip him over. It's okay if I handle the, um, the sticky part of the vinyl. I don't want to handle it too much, but a little bit more of it. Okay, and that's it. I've transferred it onto my transfer tape. So I'm going to take my glass and I'm going to line this up and put it right on there. This is just a mason jar. I have a country style at my house and I thought this would be cute for my morning coffee. And it is a curved surface, but because most of it is all one, um, what would you call that? It's not flat, but it's, it's all the same um, texture right there. So it doesn't really matter if I have all of my vinyl stuck to the glass because what really matters is this part that's cut in the center. So I'm just trying to make sure that that part is on really nice and snug. All the rest of it can have air bubbles, it can have wrinkles, I don't care about it. We are just trying to get a nice seal on the cut file itself. So that way when I go to put my armor all on, it's not going to seep through. So I'm now ready to remove my transfer tape. It'll probably need a little extra help because I do have all those wrinkles in it. So it might not want to stay on as well as it would if I didn't have those wrinkles. So I'm just gonna kinda play with it a little bit. It's actually coming off much better than I expected it to. That's always nice when it plans out that way. When it plays out that way. And it's on. All right. The good thing about transfer tape is you can reuse it. So don't get rid of it if you don't have to. So I have my monogram. I have it on nice and tight. So now I'm ready to take my armor etch. Now, the cool thing about this is it takes very, very little. This is an acid, so you wanna be careful. Don't get it on your skin. Um, I'm using a pretty big paintbrush here, but I'm gonna dip it in my bottle, get a nice coating on it, and then I'm going to start swirling it around on my cut file. So. You want to do this one to three minutes. So I usually just count to about 200, just to, it's a nice round number. But the trick is to make sure that you are swirling it around the entire time. And you change directions, go up and down, go side to side. What this is doing is it is going to start eating away at that glass. And so when you're doing several different angles, then you're getting it um, scratching into the glass different ways. 
So that's going to make your image a more, it's just brighter of an image. If you don't do this part, you'll still have like a, a um, frosty look to it. But if you want it to be a nice stark contrast, the more of the wiggling you do, the better. So I'm not counting because I'm talking, but about one to three minutes. Let's see, what time is it? It is 8.50 on my watch. So I'm going to go until 8.51. I've already been kind of doing this a little bit. So I'm just swirling around. Go this way some. So I've done these with um, casserole dishes. And I love that because when you have a potluck at church, you never have to worry about whose dish is whose. You know exactly what dish yours is. My favorite animal is pigs. And so I have mine um, as a pig. I told you I have a farmhouse decor. So mine is a pig with my monogram uh, inside the pig. So the frosty part is the pig shape. And then you can see the regular glass. It says this dish belongs to Megan Ryan. So it's a lot of fun and it just makes a cool design. I also made these for my, um, my mom and my sister and my sister-in-law for uh, their house. They had their monogram. Um, I just did a, a big letter for their last name and then wrote their last name inside the letter. So I did like a split monogram with their letters inside of it, or their word, their last name inside of it. So it turned out really cute. So it is technically time. All right. So. This is an acid, so I'm going to be very careful as I remove this. And then all you have to do is wash it and you have your monogram. So I'm going to show you the finished product, but until then, keep on crafting. See y'all later.